Hello guys, Ivan here and welcome to Danubiana Art Museum. In this video we'll check out the new BMW 7 Series i7 and here at the entrance we can see the redesign iX. This is actually the study by the designers and artists which are 35 years or younger and this particular car was finished in a concept which won the Slovenian artist. So let me know how do you like this. I think it looks pretty cool and uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty artistic. So now we will go inside and check out the all new BMW i7. And special thanks to BMW Group M from Bratislava for having me here today. And also guys, let me know in the comment section down below if you would like to see the new facelifted X7 LCI as a separate video. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell and turn on all notifications so you are notified for future episodes. Thank you very much for your support and now let's start with the video. Alright guys, and here is the all new BMW i7 based on a 7 series. So this is all electric 7 series, brand new by the BMW. And as you can see, the design language is uh, pretty striking, we can say pretty new, pretty modern. Let me know how you like the new 2023 BMW i7, the new electric 7 series in the comment section down below. Basically at the front you can see that the headlights now are separated. So the crystal headlights, the LED crystal headlights are on the top and main headlights, the laser lights, are on the lower part. And in the middle is the kidney grill illuminated on the sides and uh, yeah that's the brand new design language as you can see by the BMW also the automatic doors which we will check out shortly and new door handles uh, which are integrated in the doors as you can see here also the rear tail lamps are new they are very similar as the 8 series in my opinion so very similar but a little bit different so i7 this is the brand new all electric 7 series so the acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour happens only in 4.5 seconds and the range is up to 300 miles which is 480 kilometers and the maximum horsepower is 536 horsepower and with dc fast charging you can charge up to around 80 miles in only 10 minutes which is around 130 kilometers so if you need to top up quickly 10 minutes and you can arrive to your destination so that's pretty cool all right so now we can press the button and open the boot so the boot capacity is 515 liters or 18.18 cubic feet and as you can see it's adequate for this kind of vehicle i would say is not huge and also not small so adequate for this uh, size of this vehicle the boot lid is of course uh, electric and opens without the glass as a luxury sedan all right so now we can check out the interior where we can find a lot of changes as you can see brand new 7 series here i7 and also the cockpit is brand new as you can see we have completely new redesigned front behind the steering wheel and also these cup holders which are like separated and also you can find some familiar changes here with the long display it's a little bit curved and also the steering wheel has a brand new design a little bit more squared and also the automatic doors which are now fully electric and automatic so you can close them with the button and also you can see this huge light bar in the middle with ambient lighting and you can change with this crystal wheel and also by your hand because the screen is that screen so you can find here some uh, settings for the car and brand new animations also the new navigation so brand new system for BMW i7 the 7 series and I think it's a step forward for this vehicle so if I would choose between the old generation and the new generation of 7 series personally I would go with the new because uh, yeah I find this interior more uh, 
uh, progressive, more, more futuristic and I like it personally more than the old one. And here you can see the hazard lights. They illuminate the whole strip, the LED strip. I think it looks pretty cool. And the doors can open also with the button. So now we can check out the rear seats. Also the seat will open electrically if you press the button. And also in this interior you can find this mesh for the hi-fi system, for the sound system and these brand new seats. They have uh, this texture like a cashmere wool. So pretty, pretty cool to the touch. I'm not sure how it will look after some years, but certainly when it's new, it's very pleasant to the touch. But also you can choose the leather interior if you would prefer that. So as you can see in the rear, we have a lot of changes with the seats and also in the middle at the top you can find the screen. So this is the new BMW Theater screen, 31 inches wide, so pretty large I would say for a vehicle and uh, I haven't seen anything like this uh, before for the rear seat uh, infotainment system. So let me know how to like this rear interior. In terms of the space, I have a lot of space and also the design of these cashmere wool seats, pretty cool and also can have the panoramic sunroof. Also if you have the screen, the theater screen and illumination in the seats, in the speakers, just everywhere. You can also position this theater screen so it can move away, fold and also you can change uh, the angle at which the screen sits, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so if you fold the display, the theater screen, here is the animation which you will see. I'll let you know how to like this. I think it's pretty cool to check this huge screen in the rear section of the vehicle. So the screen itself is, I would say, around one inch, but not very thick, and also you can turn it off and uh, move away. It has this animation, you can stream from streaming services, movies or TV shows, uh, TV series. So that's uh, yeah good for the entertainment, but it's positioned at the top. So if you are not as tall uh, of a person, you need to look up uh, on the screen. So I didn't watch this screen like uh, for a long period of time, so I cannot say how it is to watch a movie or TV series, TV shows on this screen, but certainly it's something uh, interesting. So I would uh, suggest to check it out in person if you can, or uh, that's up to you. If you really like this feature, then you can order it. So we also know the price of this vehicle. So the starting price MSRP is 119,300 US dollars. And I would say it's adequate price for this all electric 7 series i7. So here you can see how we can change the angle of the screen. It has like a three stages where you can tilt it. So I would suggest a little bit more to tilt it towards the driver, but uh, yeah, I haven't watched the movie here, so I cannot say for sure how it is, but it's pretty cool, I would say. Also you can change the brightness of the screen Really cool feature, in my opinion. Probably the most interesting feature of the interior, for sure. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Let me know how you like the new 2023 BMW i7, the new electric 7 series, in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell and turn on all notifications so you are notified for all new videos. Thank you very much for your support and I will see you soon in the next video. Have a wonderful day.